Fred Savage might have had the wonder years, but his brother had the whole world. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Boy Meets World moments. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at the most memorable moments from this coming-of-age sitcom. If you've never seen this gem of a show, keep in mind we'll be delving into a few spoilers. Number 10, the first day at John Adams High. See, I'm starting off a nothing, a zero. A big booger. Boy Meets World centered on a cast of young actors who we got to watch grow up over the course of seven seasons. It was clear that Corey, Sean, and Topanga were getting older when they entered the world of high school in season two. Of course, Sean still couldn't grow sideburns. Sean? <laughs> Are those sideburns? <laughs> you, you mean the ones on my face? Their first day at John Adams High is full of laughs and surprises, as they meet the cool Mr. Turner, make enemies with a few bullies, and learn that Mr. Feeney is the new principal. Although this episode marked a significant turning point for everyone, it also showed that some things never change. I'm Johnny Baboon. <laughs> at least my life can't get any worse. Wrong again. <laughs> Mr. Baboon. Number 9. Would You Be My Girlfriend? What are you looking at me for? After two years of will they, won't they tension, Corey finally asks Topanga to be his girlfriend, but he has to go through a few shenanigans first. At a movie screening, Sean winds up on a date with Topanga while Corey asks out her friend Trini, played by the late Brittany Murphy. The night is about as disastrous as you might expect, leading to a confrontation between Corey and Topanga. Topanga! You only went out with my best friend. Well, you didn't ask me. Laying all his cards on the table, Corey sums up his feelings for Topanga with a few simple, honest, and romantic words. Would you be my girlfriend? Topanga responds with a kiss, marking the beginning of their relationship. As for Sean, turns out he was trying to bring them together all along. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Number eight, and then there was Sean. This is definitely one of the most out there Boy Meets World episodes, when the gang gets locked in the school with a masked killer, a creepy janitor, and Jennifer Love Hewitt. Things actually get pretty graphic for a TGIF comedy, with several characters actually biting the dust. That's exactly why this episode stands out from all the rest, however. And then there was Sean has no shortage of priceless moments, satirizing everything from Scream to I Know What You Did Last Summer to South Park. Oh my gosh! They killed Kenny! As strange and dark as this episode might be, it also works in some welcome character development. And in the end, of course, it was all just a dream. You fell asleep. Feeney's looking at you like he's gonna kill you. Number 7. Mr. Turner's Accident Jonathan Turner. He's been in a motorcycle accident. When Sean nearly joins a cult, he turns his back on the people who love him the most. This includes Jonathan Turner, who gets into a horrible motorcycle accident following an argument with his misguided student. It's nothing short of heartbreaking when Sean visits Turner's unconscious body. Don't do this to me, John. I don't do it alone real good. In this brief scene, we see Sean experience all the stages of grief, building to an especially powerful moment when he pleads with God to spare his teacher. But don't take Turner away from me. He's not done yelling at me yet. Outside of a throwaway reference in season five, Hey, Mr. Turner, wait up. Turner is absent for the remainder of the series, which led some fans to speculate that he had died. Fortunately, we were given closure when the character returned years later in Girl Meets World. Corey, what are you teaching today? I don't know, I'm probably making something up. Number six, Corey kisses another girl. Sometimes people take you by surprise. By season five, it seemed like Corey and Topanga could overcome any obstacle, but that all changed when Lauren entered the equation. After Corey injures his leg on a ski trip, Lauren offers to keep him company and the two share a shocking kiss. Although Corey regrets what happened between them, he makes the mistake of hiding the truth from Topanga, who soon realizes that her boyfriend has been keeping a secret from her. I'm just so disappointed in you. Of all the relationship hurdles that Corey and Topanga have faced, this was by far the most gut-wrenching. Their breakup came as a massive blow to the audience, but at least it only took a few episodes for them to reconcile. So are we starting over? 
Yeah. Number five, Chet Hunter passes away. Look after my boys after I'm gone. Well, you're not going anywhere. Character actor Blake Clark has appeared in various movies and shows, but 90s kids perhaps know him best as Chet Hunter. While Chet was far from a perfect dad, he does attempt to reconnect with Sean and Jack in season six. Chet ultimately leaves again, but not in the way Sean anticipates. Was I good enough for you? No, Sean. Was it good enough for you? Upon suffering a heart attack, Chet is given a few touching moments to make amends with his children. Just when it looks like things might work out for the Hunter clan, Chet has a second heart attack. Dad? Dad! There wasn't a dry eye in the audience when the doctor broke the tragic news, telling Chet's family and friends that his heart wasn't strong enough. We lost him. <sighs> His heart wasn't strong enough. Number four, Topanga proposes to Corey. Topanga Lawrence. Season five was full of ups and downs for Corey and Topanga, but the two rekindled their love in time for graduation. They're almost driven apart once again, though, as Topanga contemplates going to Yale. Mr. Feeney said I should go to Yale unless I have a really good reason not to. Corey loves his girlfriend so much that he's willing to watch her leave. However, Topanga decides that she wants to be with Corey more than anything else. She lets him know during the graduation ceremony, asking Corey to spend the rest of his life with her. Corey. What? This cliffhanger really felt like the end of an era, but it was also the beginning of a new chapter. Whether Corey said yes or no, we all knew that big changes lay ahead. Will you marry me? Number three, class dismissed. What? <laughs> We're leaving. Mr. Feeney was so much more than a teacher to our young protagonists. He was a grandfatherly figure that was always around to give advice. It's only fitting that the series would end in a classroom where Feeney says goodbye to his four favorite students. Believe in yourselves. Dream. Try. Feeney has taught Corey, Topanga, Sean, and Eric everything they need to know. But he leaves them with one more lesson before they venture off into a brave new world. Do good. Don't you mean do well? No, I mean do good. Feeney waits until the students are gone to say his final words, which still get us choked up even to this day. Bittersweet and meaningful, Boy Meets World couldn't have left us on a better note. I love you all. Class dismissed. Number two, Corey and Topanga's wedding. Boy Meets World had two great love stories, the romance between Corey and Topanga and the bromance between Corey and Sean. When Corey and Topanga prepare to tie the knot, Sean begins to fear that it will be the end of their friendship. This results in a massive fight between the groom and his best man during the wedding ceremony. Once they finally sit down and talk, though, Sean gives Corey his blessing to marry the extremely tolerant Topanga. Sean, I really think I've been very tolerant here. <laughs> Watching Corey and Topanga exchange their vows is both moving and surreal. It feels like it was only yesterday that these two kids were sharing their first kiss in the hall. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Well, am I any different now? <laughs> well, uh, somewhat less predictable, but no, no, you're right. I, I'd love you no matter what you look like. How you doing, honey? <laughs> I'm Cora. Humpback whale, so pale, exhaust, is all lost, donut in the sky. Number one, Corey and Topanga's first kiss. You're not gonna like kiss me now, are you? <laughs> Although Corey's relationship with Topanga was the focal point of the series, she didn't even show up until the fourth episode. They would eventually become inseparable, but Topanga's a little too weird for Corey's tastes during their middle school days. When the two get handcuffed to their lockers though, a shift begins to occur. Would it be your first kiss? Hey, don't come near me. <laughs> Pushing him up against a locker, Topanga smooches Corey who's left with a stunned face that is perfectly complemented by his crazy hair. 
Watching Cory and Topanga's romance blossom over the years was a truly rewarding experience, full of laughs, sincerity, and heart. And it all began with this unforgettable first kiss. It was my first one, too. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.